If you've ever been to a theme park, and I think it's fair to say that you probably have if you're watching this video, then you know that the public enemy number one is the crowds. That's why I decided to go to my favorite and probably one of the best theme parks in the nation, Universal Orlando. So today, I will show you how to avoid crowds so that you can find a nice, shady, relaxing place to just sit and enjoy your day. In theory, finding a nice spot to sit and relax during a busy day at a hot theme park sounds like a pretty easy task, but honestly, it could be a little tricky. Yes, there are plenty of seating areas throughout City Walk and the theme parks, but where can you sit and relax without fear of being ran over by a scooter or a stroller? Our first stop is behind Auntie Anne's Pretzels at City Walk. Honestly, this one's a hit or miss. This could be completely empty in a nice peaceful location, or it could be pretty packed. Now let's head on in to Universal Orlando. Theme park crowds are somewhat unpredictable, so depending on the time of year, this could change drastically. One of the areas that will change the most throughout the year is the lawn in front of the stage. On select nights of Mardi Gras, this is where the concerts are held, so obviously unless you're waiting for a concert, you're not going to be lounging out here. Now also during Halloween Horror Nights, they might have this closed off. Other than that, it's a great place to put down a towel and relax for the day. Now, New York City, both in real life and at Universal Orlando does not sound very relaxing, unless you know where to go. Of course there's the obvious park bench, but what's not so obvious but some people see them are the stoops. In the New York section at Universal, these are like gold. Stoops are a must. You must find a stoop. This next area for whatever reason is not very well known, or at least nobody walks back here, and if they do, well, they don't stay for very long. For whatever reason, part of it was under construction, so I had to go around. Behold, one of the greatest locations in all of Universal to get away from crowds, stay in the shade away from the hot Florida sun, and also on rainy days, you can take some cover. And there are so many places to sit back here. But seriously, the amount of times that I've come back here to sit down, relax, get out of the sun, get out of the rain, and to eat something or drink something, and just hang out and enjoy myself, not to mention to escape the massive crowds, I lost track of the amount of times I've spent back here. And we've once again reached the construction. I would like to encourage you to look out for these secret hidden seating areas that are throughout the park. But if you look to the right, well there's a beautiful stoop, and I'm a big fan of stoops. One place you'll almost always find seating, because it's not a very good attraction, is right in front of the entrance to Fast and the Furious, unless it's a peak day of course. On peak days this will be filled with strollers and scooters, but on non-peak days this will be a ghost town. Okay, so this next part gets a little bit confusing so I need you to pay attention. Take your first right at the first pier at the San Francisco section of the park. The first couple tables might be occupied, but the further back you go, the better it gets. These tables are big and they all have umbrellas. Not to mention you get a front row view of the now defunct water show that once took place on the lake. Lombard's Landing once had an open seating area on the pier behind the restaurant, but now it's closed only for restaurant guests. So you have to go around the corner and there is still a free seating area right around the corner of Lombard's Landing. It's pretty quiet, not well known. Sometimes stepping away from the crowds and taking a deep breath is the best way to make your day a little bit better. Sometimes it's a matter of choosing the right path. On the left hand side we have the Wizarding World, but if you're not going there, why go down that path? It's just way more crowded. Just take a nice right hand turn and enjoy yourself down this little hidden path. In the back of the park, where the now defunct Fear Factor attraction used to be, is lots of empty benches. Although, it is next to a smoking section, so just be aware. There are a ton of seating areas, and I honestly hardly ever see anyone over here. Just look how irresistible this little bench is hidden away inside these shrubberies. This next one I discovered while trying to get away from the crowd at Halloween Horror Nights. The grass was actually pretty comfortable and nobody seemed to care that we were sitting here. Right across from the Animal Actors Show is one of the quietest and possibly most peaceful area in all of Universal Orlando. Welcome to Universal Central Park. Now this area does take a little bit of creativity to find some seating areas, but there is a prop from an iconic Universal film, Back to the Future 3. The Central Park area is home to a grassy area which is a bonus in my book. There is of course traditional benches inside Central Park 
and this little seating area which I like to think looks like a miniature amphitheater. I'm not really sure if this was intended to be a lounge area, but it works out pretty perfectly. And look, a grassy lawn. We love a good grassy lawn. Right across from Mel's Dine-In is an area that could also change with the seasons. Because it is Mardi Gras, well, there's lots of extra seating areas down here. And there's also a bar set up above. The setup will be similar during Halloween Horror Nights. I really do enjoy this seating area, especially with a view of the now defunct old water show. It's the perfect place to enjoy some nice food and drinks and just hang out and relax and enjoy the weather. Unless it's summertime, of course. Then you want to be inside inside the sweet AC. This area up above by the bar does not have any seating areas but it does have plenty of standing tables and a nice shady umbrella area. This area for Mardi Gras is called the Beer Garden so naturally I fell upon its ambiance and I had to get myself a nice delicious beer. So that's exactly what I did and I got a nice crisp Hefeweizen and I got some mustache foam. Mmm, mustache foam. Well, that wraps up today's video, so if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. Your support means everything to me, and if you haven't already, maybe think about subscribing down below so you don't miss a thing. I'm actually planning on going to Islands of Adventure if this video does okay, so let me know if you would like to see Islands of Adventure next. Leave a comment or just leave me a like. Thanks for watching. Peace.